Hey friends, my name is Connie and I'm going to show you guys how to ship a mug and have it arrive in one piece. So I recently started selling mugs on Etsy and I really just had such a hard time figuring out how to ship it and it's taken me quite a little bit to figure it out and I thought that I would share my tips and tricks with you guys. So. Um, here are the things that you'll need. You'll need bubble wrap. I like to use the big bubbles. I, I used to use the small bubbles, but I, I felt like I had to use two sheets instead of just one of the larger bubbles. So if you do have the smaller ones, that's fine, but um, if you do have the smaller bubbles, make sure you double wrap it. Craft paper. Just plain old craft paper. This is just from the Dollar Tree. I think it's like the 3M brand. And a roll of this lasts me about maybe five or six shipments. So you need a mug, shipping tape, regular scotch tape, washi tape for decorations, and I'll talk a little bit about that. Scissors. And also a box. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the boxes I use. Sorry, I'm trying to film solo. So I use the Priority Mail box, I think it's box 4, I'm not sure, but it's the 7x7x6. Seven by seven by so what's really cool about these is USPS will give them to you for free, so it's super easy. You just order them online and they'll ship them to your house for free. And so what I like about these boxes is, yes, I know a lot of people recommend Uline, and I love Uline. Um, I think their stuff is awesome. And so if you do want to purchase boxes from there, that's really cool. Um, so for costs for shipping, it does cost a little bit more to ship priority, but in my eyes, I've done the math, and I figured that for me it's worth shipping priority because it comes with... $50 insurance, tracking of course, which I think is pretty standard. It also comes with two-day shipping, which your customers will really love that because they love receiving their stuff quickly. And also, um, the box is free, so you can't beat that. I really love it. I always keep, I think it comes in a package of 10, so I always order and I have a ton on hand for when I need them. So. Yeah, so let's get started. Of course, you're going to start by assembling your box. So let me... Of course, I can't find the end of my tape. Here I am. The little thing came apart. I hate when that happens. Doo -doo -doo. There we go. So we're going to assemble our box. Oops. Sorry, you can't see it. It's not in frame, but you get the point. I'm just assembling my box. And of course, I'm going to tape down the edges too. But I'm going to just speed up the process. So make sure you really tape it down well so your box stays, stays assembled. And also, don't mind my nail polish. You know, mom life when you paint one hand and not the other. So let's just pretend that's not there. All right, so. And one of the other questions, I mean, I personally love cutesy packaging, and I know that my packaging isn't the cutest, and it kind of 
annoys me a little bit because I pride myself in cute stuff, but my priority is to ensure that my mugs arrive safely to my customers. So I do embellish it a little bit with washi tape, which I'll show you at the end. And you can always, you know, decorate the inside if you want, but when you're constantly shipping mugs, my priority is to keep costs low for myself so that I can keep costs low for my customers. And I always include a thank you card. So that always adds kind of a special touch. Um, you know, instead of having to pay a lot of money on fancy packaging. So, alright, so you're going to take a sheet of your bubble wrap. So I don't know if it matters, but I like to, <laughs> excuse me, have the, the bubbles up facing up. And so I'll take my mug. So actually I'm going to rewind a little bit. One way that you can add a cute little flair to it is to wrap your, your mug in tissue paper. So like I said, I do love to... To make my stuff cute, and so I will do so whenever I can, but like I said, it does kind of add up, and I know tissue paper is only like a dollar, but anyways, so yeah, so, so you can always just wrap it in tissue paper, and this will also just give it a, give it a little layer of protection, so. But you don't have to do this, like I said, I, I hardly ever wrap it in tissue paper, and I, and I've had no mugs break yet so knock on wood but I think that I've kind of mastered the art also sorry if I sound muffled I am I was listening to myself and it sounds like I have a list but I think the counter is messing up the audio so anyways I'm gonna lay that there you're gonna tape tape it like that. So the handle's right here. And then I'm gonna wrap I'm gonna tape it again. Right here. And then you're gonna finish it off with tape. So at the end you're gonna have just like a big ball of awesomeness like this. And so the handle's right here. So the reason why I point out the handle is because that's one of the most fragile parts of the mug. So you want to really make sure that the bubble wrap really encompasses the handle. Alright, so at this point the box is empty and I'm going to take my craft paper. So I'm going to cut a piece off Nothing fancy here, just cutting it and I'm going to cut the whole piece in half and I'm going to fill the bottom of my box with this. And then I'm going to lay my mug. So it's going to look like that. And then what I'm going to do now is take craft paper and I'm going to kind of roll it in a ball and tuck the corners, see all the empty space. You don't want any of that because that's going to push up against the wall and it might break. So I'm going to do that for the rest of the mug now. Like I said, nothing super fancy. I'll show you guys when I'm done. Just fill the gaps. So now it's pretty much secure. And then lastly, I'm going to finish with a top layer.
and then just kind of tuck it over like that. And so at this point I would take my little thank you card and any other things and just kind of lay it on top. And now I'm going to seal the box. So I'm actually not going to really seal this one because this one was just a pretend shipment. But at this point you would seal it and then you do the shake test. So this one right here, it moves a little bit, but I'm confident in knowing that it's bubble wrapped properly. I've secured the corners to keep it from shifting. And I've also added a layer on top. So cost depends on distance and weight. Usually mine weigh about a pound and about three ounces. It just depends. Um, I've been able to fit two. I can fit up to two mugs in one box um, comfortably. I'm sure I could fit three, but I've been too scared to, to try that. So I really hope this works out. And, you know, I love to decorate the outside of the box with some washi tape. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.